Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitu fil law a question was asked assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh one of our brothers from London and he said i would really appreciate your advice on a matter which i received many different answers for if you could help me understand the mas'ala and the factors meaning the issue uh, involved, it would be much appreciated, as I'm quite confused and have been for a while. Uh, it is, is it appropriate, permissible, to weight train in a mixed gym if you try to do the following? Listen to something beneficial like Quran or Dars, try to lower the gaze, try to go in a quiet time. Does it take the same ruling as someone going to the supermarket or mixed public areas like that out of necessity or is it not permissible due to a lack of necessity in the existence of other options and methods to look after health please consider in your answer advice that i'm not married young obviously get some desires but striving to remain firm inshallah ta'ala also i want to memorize the quran even more reason to protect myself and one's organs and heart However, I enjoy weight training to be a strong believer, one that Allah is pleased with. I apologize for the long question. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise your ranks. Ameen. Wa iyakum. And you as well. Ameen. Ya Rabbil uh, Definitely a long question. And as uh, I'm sure has been asked to the ulama uh, from people in the West uh, and, and other places, uh, this question and as far as I know, and even my asking, and it's on here, it's, I've translated it, it's on my YouTube channel, on this channel, you can find where I asked Sheikh Saeed this very question, or similar to this, and he said, no, absolutely not, do not uh, go to the gym, uh, a mixed gym, and... We know the situation of what the situation is like in the West and that our societies are mixed. In fact, I won't say the West, I'll say the whole planet, except for very few places. And a lot of times they're small places even. Even now in Saudi Arabia, that is changing as well. But of course, generally, alhamdulillah, that is not the case in Saudi Arabia as far as gyms and things like this. Um... So, as far as these kind of masail, we go to the ulama, and as Sheikh Saeed is, is mentioned. As far as learning more about the mas'ala, I don't know what other details there is. I do understand the situation of trying to lower your gaze and listening to beneficial uh, uh, durus and the Qur'an, and, or even going at a quiet time. And so this is a general uh, hukum that the sheikh uh, made as a fatwa. And I can't imagine any of our ulama differing with that in general. As far as it being a durura, a necessity, it isn't a necessity. And you may hear different from different people, but I can't even imagine that students of knowledge in the West would say that it's a durura, that it's a necessity. Because there are many different ways, of course, to be fit. And there's a difference between weight training and being fit. There's so many things that you can do to be fit uh, that is uh, that differs from weight training. And weight training is just one of the things. Weight training is something we like to do, many of us, because it makes you bigger. It makes you stronger. And, uh, and you know, it has benefits. But it is not necessarily a sign of health because... Many people weight train that are unhealthy. There's a difference between being healthy and being strong. That's one point. Another point I want to mention is uh, about being a strong believer. And the strong believer is the one, as the Prophet wasallam said, you know, who, who uh, as the Messenger of Allah wasallam said, and this is a paraphrase of the hadith, where he mentioned that the strong believer is, is not the one who is good at wrestling, but he is the one who can control his or her anger. Uh, that the, so this is very important that the strong believer is the one, it's the one of Iman. This is the real strength. Now, the physical strength, this is also 
beautiful and benefits a person in their Islam as well, in their deen. But the asl, the origin, is that the uh, the strong believer is the one who's strong and able to restrain his or herself from their desires, able to restrain his or herself from anger and uh, being excessive. And so those are just some pieces of advice that I hope that can be beneficial. Uh, and I, again, as I mentioned, I don't know where you get other answers uh, regarding this. I mean, as far as uh, perhaps maybe you get from some students or something that live in the West and they may have a different view of this because they live in the West, they live in a mixed society and they are accepting that uh, that everywhere is mixed. But however, as far as the ulama and the rasikhun fil ilm, those uh, major scholars and even le uh, lesser scholars, I have never heard any of them, especially for something like this, because it's not a burura. There's no absolute necessity. Even if there were no other ways to be necessarily strong, let's just say for the sake of argument, which is not the case, uh, it still is, it would not fit in a burura, something that is going to be between life and death uh, and your dean and otherwise. There's no threat there by not being able to bench press 200 pounds or something like this. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.